So this is the Hirochi SBR4. But anyways, I've made my own version. <laughs> because at this point in time, I have played BeamNG for 720 hours. So I have my own version of all the cars. I even have several one of these, which I'm going to show you. But this is kind of my favorite, because it sounds really good. The electric one is really good, but it sounds quiet. So you have mine in comparison to the base one. And the similarities aren't really that big until you get under the hood. Or at least until you start it up <laughs> exhaustless. And you consider that instead of having 210 horsepower like this, it has 966, because why not? <laughs> now it has all-wheel drive to keep uh, control of all the power. Now, does it actually keep control of all that power? Not really? That's the fun part. And then it spits flames. That's also very fun. Caters to the five-year-old in me. Oh, shiza. At least it's fast enough. Ahem. <laughs> <coughs> Zero to a hundred in I don't give a shit. Fast. Oh yeah. Oh, and now we're right on the racetrack. That's how you park a car. For more driving tips, follow me on social media. <laughs> so that's how you park the car, and this is how you drive the car. Now be respectful, because if you can't break in the corner, you're fucked. Oh god. I think this sends about 60% of the power to the rear. It has like, race suspension and limited slip diffs and such. I'm only slightly off the track. Bro. I've forgotten how fun this thing is. Fucked up the front wheels. But that's fine. Everything's fine, just. Give me a second. Give me a second. Here we go! Still as fast as ever. <laughs> Look at this! It's perfectly functioning. And then we do a little spin. Yeah, I planned on doing that spin hook. <laughs> I planned on doing that 360 just to show you that I'm awesome at driving. Oh yeah, barely any understeer. <laughs> and it shoots flames. As you crash horribly. Yeah, yeah. And then when you're done, you're so fast that you don't even have to pay for <laughs> for driving. Oh no, a red light. This forces me to launch the car. Now it goes a little past. 8,000 RPM. <laughs> yeah. Go on. Wait, what? 
Okay, 100 miles per hour, 160 kilometers per hour, but here's the thing. Firstly, I don't know why I chose blue and lime, and why there's an automatic shifter. Secondly, this is, wait, reverse? Wait, what? What? Okay, neutral. Reverse. So, so this is reverse. Look at, look at. So, that is reverse, and then fur neutral. First, second, third, fourth. Okay, so there is clearly a square. There's clearly a P here because I don't know. Maybe these are automatic cages. Wait, so then we have third, fourth, fifth, sixth. What? <laughs> Um, that's how you know that it's made by me and not by the game. Because firstly, it's useless other than sounding and looking cool and driving in a straight line. And secondly, you have, you have shit like that. An automatic gear lever, automatic gauges. Believe it or not, it is not in park currently where we'll do. This is like the best sounding engine in all of the game. Hey, Bruce, I think that the, um, yeah, the speedometer doesn't go more than 200, uh, 320. So, technically, I don't even know how fast I'm going. So if I get pulled over and they ask me, how do you know how fast you were going? I could say like, no, it's outside of the speedometer. <laughs> And then they'll see that I did above 320, and I'll get arrested, but it's besides the point. So I said I had different configurations, and this is an electric configuration. Now, here are a couple of quirks. Uh, the speed, the, the um, rev limiter goes to 16,000 RPM. The game isn't designed for that, so it's 1.2, 2.4, and onwards. Uh, neither is the gauge cluster, because... I don't know why, but this has manual gauges, so if... No, it doesn't. If we put it in reverse, it's in drive. Neutral, doesn't show anything, and drive is first. And as you can see, it's above 8,000 RPM! <laughs> it's at 16,000 RPM currently. But anyways, this is just like a Tesla Plaid. Oh damn, I accidentally... <laughs> I was gonna like launch it a whole bunch to show you that it can do it in 1.9 seconds, but um... I didn't need to! <laughs> I didn't even try that, what the fuck? Okay, and the crazy thing that, um, that I found out is that this is, this is an electric vehicle with two engines. So if you go here on the app, it actually says rear and front motor. So this doesn't have 600 and... Th this doesn't have 512 horsepower. It has that, plus another 300. It has like 813 or something horsepower. Which is wild. That is quite Oscar, if I do say so myself. Wow, that was funny. Aw, oh, 194? Bruh! One ninety two, better, better. Come on, one point nine, and then it has a nice top speed of a hundred and ninety four. So it may actually not win any drag races because it'll be fast off the line and then have nothing afterwards. But it's a nice commuter car, you know. You can. <laughs> You can accelerate so fucking dangerously on your way to work. <laughs> la la la, I'm at place too much commuting back and forth to my mom's basement. 
da de da de da Ooh, here's the highway. Let me, let me just, uh, let me just, uh, accelerate, you know, the on-ramp. Gotta conserve that battery. Jesus fucking Christ. And I'm breaking the speed limit by a lot. <laughs> because this is made like a real electric car, it breaks on a dime. Because you can then use the electricity to regenerate battery, and that actually works. And it has a wing for extra drag. Oh, am I blocking traffic? I'm blocking traffic? What the fuck are you talking about? Now... Mm, what should we take? Let's take something sporty. Let's not take a drag one. Let's take the red tail, right? Like... Yeah, a hell of a lot of horsepower. So you see, I said that the other one was fast 0 to 100, but weren't gonna win no drag race. Well, this is gonna win no drag... Yes, drag... A drag race. What the fuck am I even on about? Okay. Now we're just gonna react fast. <laughs> uh, okay, retry with a different foe. Now I wonder, I wonder if we take a bastion and then a drag. Does it say? No, it doesn't. Let's retry it and see what happens. Now I am tempted at uh, altering the final drive slightly so we do get more power in this. But I don't know if that's uh, necessarily necessary. <sighs> now this seemed kind of sluggish, I don't know. Oh shisa. Bruh. Okay. Reset that shit. Oh my fucking god. Retry with the same foe and then yes, restart. Um. Now we can't really take out any fuel, so like. This, this will have to do. Okay. There we go. Now, this has a 6 to 1 gear ratio because that leaves it at 300. <laughs> oh my fucking god. Holy shit. Wow. Shit. Shit. Okay, I'm tempted at doing it again. Yeah, 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 yeah. Reset the... Reset the damn thing. When I press reset, what if you fucking restart the shit? Okay. Okay. Um... 7.2. That can't hurt, right? 2. So now we're slightly faster. Hopefully. But yeah, it was... <laughs> it was 6 to 1, as I was about to say. Um, because that leaves the top speed ar at around 320 kilometers per hour. Which, um, which is a nice speed when commuting, right? <laughs> I don't even try! Now this is the final config. It's an off-road config. It has a locked rear diff, 8.2 to 1 uh, gear ratio for that final drive ratio. It has a tow hook, and it's electric, because when you're stuck in the wilderness, you need an electric car. I made this a long motherfucking time ago. So, um, 
yeah, I was uh, ahead of my time, one might say. Because electric off-roaders are now all the rage. <laughs> of course, the batteries are fully protected underneath. So it has a natural... Uh, what should we call it? A na natural underbody armor. God damn it. <clears throat> it has an open front diff because it's either open front diff or no front diff. Now, maybe with an... Maybe with an eternal combustion engine, I could actually, uh... I could actually get limited slip front diffs. I don't know if this was dumb or not, I mean... Shit, when I made it, I... Fucking... I was young. I was like, five. <laughs> I wasn't. Oh my fucking god. Another time... <laughs> Bruh. I'm I'm soon gonna be bankrupt only from the tires being weak as shit. Okay. Mm, where the fuck was I going? I was going to this mountain. I don't quite know where the fuck this is gonna be. Um. Well, okay. At least it doesn't lack power with 918 horsepower. That's a hell of a lot. And gunning it didn't actually help well fun as we say in Norwegian ah shit <laughs> maybe 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 we just launch it straight up the fucking what's it called mountain but if we just launch it up here, it'll f probably be fine. I swear to God, it will probably be fine. Ah, scheisse. As they say in German. Okay. Look at this. This is such difficult off-roading, right? This is such difficult off-roading. Holy shit. As I you know that this car is off-road worthy. Because not any car, not just any car, could do what this... What? Bruh, a fucking... This... <laughs> so... It's a very difficult off-road trail because not not anybody can do it, particularly not a not a track culvert that I could that could never do difficult off-roading like I could do it. It doesn't even have big mud terrain tires like I have. <laughs> I'm not crying. You're crying because your pride is broken. The fuck? Maybe this isn't a good config after all. Now, thank you for watching my videos. And I only did this one because you seem to like my uh, my D series one. And I might end up doing all of the configs I have on all the cars. So, if you enjoy my content, continue to watch it, and I'll pump out some more. See ya, have a nice weekend, because it's not a weekend, but just, you deserve it, I guess.